Department of Anatomy, Purdue Medical College of Rajput welcomes you again in the lecture series of abdominal X-ray. In this lecture, we will discuss about the plain abdominal diagram. In previous lecture, we discussed how to read abdominal X-ray film. And we know that we know that anteroposterior plane diagram in supine position is a standard procedure, and anteroposterior plane diagram is also known as a straight film, scout film, survey film, and KUB film. The abdominal plane diagram is indicated for various gastrointestinal abnormality with various genital urinary abnormality as well as for suspected foreign bodies and in acute as well as chronic abdominal conditions. Pregnancy is the contraindication in abdominal X-ray. In emergency condition, no preparation is required, but for the better film, we require to prepare the patient. An object of preparation is to get the gastrointestinal tract devoid of any food material, any fecal material or any type of gas. For that, we can give the patient antiflatulant like enzyme preparations, charcoal tablet and laxative. Patient is capped, kneel by mouth for about 12 hours before the investigation. In case of constipation, the patient may give an enema to empty bowel. This image shows the plane and proposterior view of abdominal region taken in the supine position, where we can see the shadow of soft tissues and muscles, as well as we can see the opacity of a bone. Let's try to identify various structures. Let's try to identify various structures in this image. This is the anterosuperior iliac spine. This is the antero inferior iliac spine, head of the femur. Here we can also identify the inlet of the pelvis, the iliac breast. This is the posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. This is the sacro iliac joint. This indicates the ala of the sacrum. This is the sacrum. And this part is the coccyx. Here we can see the L5 vertebra, the spinous process of L5 vertebra, transverse process of L5 vertebra, intervertebral disc, L4, L3, L2, L1, and L12. This is the 12th thoracic vertebra, which articulates with the 12th rib. Just above the T12, this is the T11 vertebrae which articulates with the 11th rib. So these things, these bony structures we can identify in this image. In this image, we will try to identify various organs and structure. Organs gives a shadow in the abdominal X-ray. Here we can identify the lower border of the liver in the right upper quadrant of the X-ray. Here we can identify this plane. This shadow is of the right kidney. This is the shadow of the left kidney. Generally, ureter are difficult to identify. For Therefore, we have just a drawn a dotted line for the ureter here. Here we can see another shadow. The shadow is by the psoas major muscle. And in the pelvic cavity, we can see this urinary bladder also. In this image, we will try to identify gastrointestinal organs. This is the image taken in the supine position. Here we can identify the stomach and this is the cecum, ascending colon, 
here is the hepatic flexor of the colon you can identify the lower border of the liver here also this is the transverse colon this is the splenic flexor of the colon descending colon and this part is the rectum this is the sigmoid colon in this image we will try to identify the looks of small intestine as you can see here large intestine covers the peripheral part of the abdominal cavity and in the center part we can identify this type of structure this is the look of the small intestine you can see the air in the large intestine as well as at some time air in the small intestine is also reachable this is the focused and enlarged part of the large intestine where we can identify the circulation The circulations are clearly visible in plain abdominal x-ray. In addition to the circulation, we can identify this thicken opaque white structure. This is the tinea coli. This is the splenic flexor of the colon. In some case or in complications like intestinal obstruction, we can see the air fluid level in the colon, small intestine as well as the large intestine. Here is the image taken in the erect posture where we can see air fluid level. This is the air fluid level in the large intestine. Here also, this is the air fluid level. This black is the air, and this white part is the fluid. And between the air and fluid, here we can see the straight line that indicates the level of the fluid in a dilated intestine. You can identify thus multiple air fluid level in this X-ray because this X-ray is taken in the erect posture air is on the upside and fluid is on the lower side here is also the air fluid level this is the air fluid level in the small intestine this is the characteristic sign of intestinal obstruction in addition in the supine position we can identify the dilated small intestinal loops so the observer should be able to differentiate between the normal intestine and this type of dilated loops of the intestine with air fluid level. In normal abdominal x-ray, we can see a air in defenders of the stomach, which is just below the left dome of diaphragm. It creates a black shadow and this known as the air under the left dom of diaphragm or air in the fundus of the stomach that is a normal condition this is the right dom of diaphragm and this is the left dom of diaphragm in this x-ray we can identify the right dom of diaphragm and left dom of diaphragm this is the stomach and this is the air in the fundus of the stomach but here we can see another air shadow between the fundus of stomach and dome of diaphragm on the right side also we can see the black shadow between the upper margin of the liver and right dome of diaphragm so this image indicates that air is present in the peritoneal cavity and this condition is known as pneumoperitoneum. This x-ray is taken in erect posture.
Sometimes we can see such type of calcified structure like this. This is the renal calculus. In some condition, the lower margin of the liver extends downwards. Although this may be the normal, but this extended lower margin of the liver is known as Reader's lobe. The plain abdominal axis like this. This is the plain anteroposterior view of an abdominal region showing the anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine, iliac crest, posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine, sacroiliac joint made of the femur, sacrum, coccyx, as well as the vertebrae, eleventh and twelfth hips, and soft tissues like liver, spleen, kidney, thoracic major muscle, large intestine, small intestine without any visible abnormality. In next lecture, we will discuss about the spatial technique. We will start with the histosarcal geography. Thank you.